we're going to look at the Jain faith or Jainism, in fact. And we might note, first of all, um, the meaning of the name. The Jains are those who follow the Jinnah, someone who has conquered, well, really, this world or samsara, the convolution, we can call it, the confusing world, well, we call this world. So we may wonder, why would we study Jainism with only four to five million members in India? I'm quite convinced from my research and discussions with Jain scholars that this is one of, if not in fact, even the oldest continuous religion on the planet. Judaism, we can say, maybe, well, the first reference to Israel is 1100 BCE in an Egyptian manuscript. Of course, many instances uh, of stories in the Bible all go back to Babylon and Sumer. So it's really a foolish contest, though, to determine what is the oldest continuous religion, frankly, because they all trace their roots back to the same sources eventually in Africa, where we all came from. Nevertheless, with just a half a percent of India's population, the Jain peoples contribute 24% of the taxes of India. How did that happen? So just like Judaism, uh, the Jain faith is very influential. Going back to the Indus Valley, uh, the source, I'm quite convinced, of yoga, the ethic of non-harming, and as well, uh, meditative practices that live on around the world today. Jainism is uh, going back to the Indus Valley civilization of Mahenjadaro and Harappa and the like. We can see as well also the old Indus Valley civilization projected and the current population of modern giants lives just about right there mostly in northwest India. So where do we place Jainism in the history of the evolution of Indian faiths? We can go ahead and uh, assume their legends are right. That in fact their founder, the first Tirthankara invented civilization. Obviously that's a legend, but does it have a grain of truth in it? Jainism emerges approximately as a distinct faith, if not more ancient traditions behind that, around the time of the Buddha, again in the Axial Age in the middle of the first millennium 